Hello everybody. Welcome to the today's video. The video is about the function tables here in Jump. So, as you already know, when I open my Jump software in this uh, computer, uh, I have this and uh, not necessarily this uh, white page here so uh, I just know that is open because I can see the jumps menu here above so uh, to work on this video I have this data table uh, this, is, this is a very interesting data table because I use it in my multiple linear regression class uh, it's a very nice uh, data sheet because we are talking about projects here, industrial projects in a company. For example, we have 89 different projects that were done in a company uh, in different uh, months and years. We have the analyst that ran this project, that made all the plans, all the follow-ups, all the, the details and put it on the system. And now we have some characteristics about the project. So, for example, we have the date uh, when they were concluded, the risk they took, the time planned, if you were delayed or not, the amount of suppliers and third-part contracts, uh, the frequency of follow-up, uh, the follow-up done, uh, how many areas were involved, the money that was spent, the money that we, we had to run the project and the difference on budget. So we have uh, 13 columns and 89 rows. And the goal here is to talk about the, the tables. Uh, I'm going to talk about summary, subset, sort, stack, and split. Those are the, the basic ones and they are very useful when we are organizing our data table to make some, to perform some specific analysis. So let's start with the function summary. So the function summary, what is it about, right? Let's suppose that you want to know how is the mean of the difference on budget. So I just select here difference on budget and I click here in the statistics and I have a lot of different options to, to do with this column. For example, mean. The moment that I click on mean here, jump, give me a preview. Uh, if, I, if right now I click in OK, I will have a data table with two columns and one row. These two columns are the mean of the 89 uh, rows that I had in my original table. So this is the mean of that column difference on budget. If I want the mean for each analyst, I just put analyst here in group, the group section. So I have the mean of the projects, all the projects that were run for, uh, by Alison, Caetano, Cassiano, Luisa, Marcio and Mateus. The amount of projects that each one worked is here. The number of rows that were used to, to perform the mean is here, 20 rows, 20 rows, 19 rows, 10, 10, and 10. If I want more than the mean, I want, for example, the standard deviation, I click here, uh, I have to select the column standard deviation, so mean and standard deviation. So I can run uh, different statistics about my original column and group this by analyst, by if they were delayed or not, for example, and every single change that I run here, uh, Jump is giving me a preview, okay? If I click on OK, 
I have a new data table about the things that I asked for. Okay, this is the summary. This is very important if you are summarizing your data table. The next one is a, the subset. So what is subset? Let's suppose that I want to divide this data table in subsets of table, subset of data. For example, I would like to uh, separate everything about this analyst here, Alison. So I will select Alison here, right click, select matching cells. So I have now 20 rows selected. I will click there in subset, table subset. I will have these selected rows selected here. And if I click OK, I will have a subset of the original table, but all the information about Alison, the analyst called Alison. The, the columns are the same, but the rows is only about Alison's project. Okay, this is subset. It's very simple, but you you can separate in di in different subset, but without moving, without changing anything on your original table. Okay, the next one is stack. Let's suppose, no, it's not a stack, right? It's sort, sorry. Uh, sort, if you watched my organizing data table video, you saw that we can sort information here. Let's suppose that I want to sort this column by analyst. So I just come here, right click on this column, sort ascending. So I just changed all the organization, all the, the, the information that I had originally here by sorting this column analyst. If I don't want to change anything in my original table, I just click here in undo, Ctrl plus Z in my keyboard. So I have the original table here. I want to sort, but I don't want to change my data table, my original data table. I can come here, sort. I can select the analyst. So I will sort my data table by analyst and I will create a new data table now sorted by the analyst. It is exactly the same function, but I have a new data table uh, with this, this movement, let's say. Very good. Sort is this, the basic of sort. Stack, now let's talk about stack. Let's suppose that you don't want these three columns about money. Everything here is about money, but you have this uh, characteristic about the project, this characteristic and this third characteristic about the money. I want to put these three columns uh, stacked. So in the same column, so I can, I can do this. Let's stack those three columns. So I will select those three columns, stack columns, and now I will have this label and data. So label, I, I, I'm going to change here label for uh, project uh, money situation, for example. You can write whatever you want. The data here is money. Money. So, the moment that I click uh, OK, I will have a new data table. I can put a name for this table. If I click on OK, I have now a data table with 12 columns and 267 rows. And now I have money. I have the project money situation here. So now I can run some graphs uh, with this situation organized like that. Okay, so this is the stack function. Now 
Let's come back. Let's suppose that your original table is like this and you want this money spent, this money for the project and the difference on budget, each one being a different column and the rows is the money. So that's why we use the, the function split. Let's split our data table by the project, okay, and let's split by columns called money. So if we just do this, we will organize the data table and we will have just a table like this, three, three columns, money, money spent and difference and everything here about money, 89 rows. But and the rest of the table, where we put this, we can put this, all of this in the group. So now we can have our original data table or a table that you just changed from one column to three different columns organized by money. So if I click OK here, now we just split it the the last table that we have this table here for this one this new data table so we just covered here summary subset sort stack and split i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that i could help you with some new uh, information and see you on the next video